assalamu alaikum in the last video we talk about the different layer of the eyeball and uh, ecosumer and physiology about ecosumer and the one disease related with ecosumer is the glaucoma okay in this video we talk about the function of the cornea function of cornea and uh, exactly we have lens behind the cornea what's the function of cornea and the lens here and the, how the light enter to the eye and how the light is going to how the image is formed on the retina and uh, the, to understand this phenomena first we focus on this uh, with physics terminology refraction of the light what's the refraction meaning here refraction the light is the bend when the light enter from the media for example when the light is coming and the collide with the with the cornea now here we having the air the light is a one media is the air then light enter to cornea is the second media here we having water that water was ecosumer uh, next we have deafness light enter to ecosumer then light passing to the lens now enter to lens then light enter to vitreous humor then light is going toward the retina so now light light moving when light moving from the cornea till retina light is passing through different medium and that medium density is not same the air the air density of the air is a bit less than the density of the cornea as a tissue the connective tissue cornea transparent structure cornea here the transparent structure lens here transparent structure the ecosumer the water like thing here the vitreous vitreous in a gel like substances is also a bit little bit transparent here and allow the light to pass but light when light is moving from the different media the media if the media is lighter media lighter media mean light density media the light density media and the, if the media now the media uh, is not much dense if the density of the media high density the low density media the high density media when the light and the high density the light is changing its media from low density to high density or high density to low and low density when light is traveling in this way light change after cooling light change the direction let me this way or this way this is known as refraction is opposite to reflection reflection is just that light is come back after collision uh, when light is passing through transparent structure transparent cornea the transparent here transparent lens the transparent and then light is bent light change direction the light after light change direction light is entered to the and the lens cornea and then i let this light a bit when light ray bend and in the cross this light ray cross each other and then make an image here then they, they, this image focus on retina and this sort of what is refractive index here the in the physics the any any media the media the the different category of media they having the different refractive index is a is a degree of the refraction degree of refraction mean the how much light bend after passing after passing when the light enter to lighter media then going to higher dense media high density media light change direction how much change in direction that's a refractive index that's a refractive index you can see in the next next slide here uh, one lens the convex lens now convex what the function of convex and convex lens can convert the light ray they convert the light ray on one point and the light ray in a focus or it's a focal point it's a focal lens or the light rays are focused and the image is formed here the light rays are coming the light rays are coming this is a function of convex lens our eye lens is similar to uh, it's our lens the lens shape of the eye is also convex lens and uh, also in the convex lens now this lens having a sort of refractive index on refractive index uh, another terminology here the concave lens for the function of the concave lens concave lens can divert the light. So divergence mean after collision the light can disperse the light can after after the collision here this angle of incident is angle of refraction the light rays the light ray can divert is a divergence phenomena the the, the but the difference between the convex and concave lens the convex lens 
was the image the image form the uh, image form by for example here is a one object here is object the a side of object is a b side of that when the light rays are passing through this the image is formed like this is the b side you can see here is the arrow is inverted here the image image the real image is formed the real image is formed with convex lens but the image is inverted but the image is inverted and in case of uh, concave lens in case of concave lens you can see here uh, it's a light with the image the image the image form it's not real image. the image form here the uh, image form not inverted image is a normal image like if the Im image form behind the lens the light ray is it come from the behind the lens if you focus lens to form the image that image is not real image that image is virtual image and not inverted now it's a straight image but it's a virtual it's not a real image that's yeah it's a function of the concave lens it's a concave lens physics physics uh, about the concave lens okay now we talk about the we apply this uh, the distance here you can see here convex lens the different curvature what's the role of different curvature if the according to the distance of object the lens is normal is a normal physiology the lens uh, present in our eye can change its curvature it can change its curvature according if the light ray is coming from much distance or the light ray coming from or light ray come from the distant source the lens lens change curvature lens can change curvature for part for to change the refractive part to change the refraction and if the point source, the light source is very close to the eye wall, very close to the eye lens, then lens, lens again, you can see here change curvature. The curvature change, the lens change is shape. Why? Because if, if the light is coming from much far, the lens curvature is changed to make the, make the image exactly on the retina, to make image exactly on right now so for example when you when you when you're watching any object is much far from you or it's mean from the light rays coming from the far object the lens change curvature to uh, to focus the light rays on the retina to form the image exactly on the retina exactly on the retina if the image if you if you're watching any disc if you're watching any close object if you're watching any close object, light rays coming from the close object and the light ray, the lens again change, again, again change curvature, again change curvature to focus, again change curvature to focus the image on the retina. If lens not doing this, then the image can be blurred. Image can be blurred from the far, image can be blurred from for the close object. To, to see the close of the image can be blurred if lens is not doing, not doing, not doing changing curvature. So this phenomena, let me discuss this phenomena in detail. This phenomena is now known as accommodation. In the accommodation, there are two structures playing role. One thing, lens. And second thing, the size of pupil. Second thing, pupil. The pupil control the light intensity and the lens, the lens by changing curvature, lens can control the degree of refraction, the degree of refraction. So if the, if the light ray is coming from the much far, much far distance or far object, far object and light ray, the lens must change curvature, lens become elongated here and change curvature to make the exactly image on retina. If the, if, the, if the object is much closer to your eye, then lens again change curvature to make exactly image on the retina. So there's a relation with that. Okay, when we, when we change the curvature of lens, the degree of refraction change. The degree of refraction change. If lens, now we imagine, uh, now we imagine if one person, one person having uh, one person have problem just can see the far object and not able to see close object another person just can see close object not able to see far object so what might be a problem here is the curvature the maybe lens lens loss lens lens losing its elasticity and not able to change its curvature lens no more flexible lens there the lens or oh, so if there's no change in 
curvature, then what happened? The power of reflection, the power of reflection is not changed for, for the far object and for the close object. So the image, the image for example, the image can become blur, blur, image for far object, image become blur. For close object, or oh, image is a bit blur. So that, that, that happened. If the lens is not changing its curvature, it means it's an accommodation failure here. It's an accommodation field because lens is not changing its curvature. This is the importance of the lens change and the lens curvature. The lens curvature, the real lens, the fixed inside the eye, have ability to change its curvature, to change the degree of... So what happens if you change curvature? If you change curvature, the angle of incidence will be changed. If angle of incidence change and angle of reflection, also change the angle of incidence change and angle of refraction change so we're changing refraction degree here refraction or well, the uh, lens just want the light we must focus on retina for proper imaging must focus on retina so lens must change curvature for proper accommodation so what's the concept here for cylindrical lens this way literally lens was a clinical uh, focus lens cylindrical lens so cylindrical lens is a mixture of lens the uh, cylindrical lens we use one disease is known as astigmatism. Astigmatism. In, in astigmatism case, uh, some light rays, some light rays uh, focus just behind the behind the retina, and some light rays focus before retina. In uh, it, now here the lens lens curvature is totally asymmetrical. Lens is not controlling light refraction. The few light rays, few light rays, for example, here's a lens here. The light ray passing from here uh, focus just before retina. Lens rays passing from the light from the center from the center of the lens or passing and the focus behind the retina. Here we having, for example, here we having the retina structure here. Here have the retina, retina structure. So this is the retina here. The light ray, light ray focus behind retina, light ray focus before retina. So it is the astigmatism. It's known as astigmatism. Now for this purpose, we can use cylindrical lens. The cylindrical lens is a mixture of convex lens plus concave lens. The cylindrical lens can can can, can do for function for both lungs. For, for, for can, can, can do function from the both lens concave as well as convex concave as well as as well as convex so cylindrical lens we use for astigmatism purpose but so here, you, here you can see here the real image inverted image as a convex lens you can see here is a head end or uh, it's a foot end here the image is real but image is inverted and when this image is transmitted to our brain Transmit it to our brain, then brain can again make it upright. Again, make it upright. Make correction. Brain doing the correction in image, then we can see the object uh, exactly in its own position. That's the function of the convex lens. Okay, now move on. What's another terminology here? Here we're talking about refraction. Oh, what was thing? The refractive part. Refractive part we measure in diopter. It's a refractive part we can measure in diopter. How much degree? For example, there are three lens given here. There are all these three lens, the first time one diopter part, third diopter part, and diopter. You can see here in the diopter, if the lens curvature, the change of the all lens have different curvature, it means the all lens, the angle of incidence difference. If the angle of incidence increase or decrease, the angle of refraction, angle of refraction also change. Angle of refraction also change. Angle of refraction also change. angle of refraction also change so if the angle of refraction change so now you can see here we will give the power here may one diopter two diopter so you can see here the light ray if the power is less the light ray focus much far distance from the lens much far distance from from the lens you can see the image formation are a bit closer to the lens the image formation more closer to the lens you can see here so if you increase the diopter, it means you're increasing the refractive part. 
if the lens has a uh, very high power, if the lens here very high power, so it's, it's a problem in case of myopia and hypermyopia. So in these two conditions, once the myopia condition in the myopia, hypermyopia, myopia, these are two refractive errors. What happen in the lens? The lens sometimes it uh, the lens if lens power is increased too much, it can make the image just before retina. If image made the image image formation done just before retina, just before retina, okay. If the like if the power is very low power lens, very low diopter, there the image can form after the retina. So both are incorrect thing here. The power is too high is not good thing. Power is too low is not good thing. There must be accurate power that your image must form on the retina. So we, we can if the if the if the lens power is increased too much, we can put if the in in our in, in our in our eye we have convex lens. If the power is decreased, the image can form. If the power is decreased, the image is a retina here. That is a retina. The image form just behind the retina. Image form here. If the power is the power is too high, the image can form in front of retina. The both condition, the both condition are wrong. The person having the blurry vision. To correct it, how how we can correct it? If the image form behind the retina, it means power is too low. For this case, for this case, okay, first we discuss this case. Uh, for this case, we can put another lens here, similar convex lens. This convex lens now we can increase. Uh, now two lens doing refraction, then image can exactly form on retina. Exactly form on retina. Okay, next case, if the image form before retina, its main power is too high. To reduce the power, so what is done? The convex lens doing the conversion phenomena and the verges done by concave lens. In front of this lens, we can place another lens. That lens is oh, it's a concave shape. It's a convex, it's a concave. Because image form before the retina. It's a retina. Image form before retina. We can correct this disorder because the lens, this lens having very high power is mean a more diopter, means too much refraction. The image form is 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 early early to the retina. So uh, we can we can use this lens. It's a concave lens. Put a concave lens here. So exactly we can we can we can reduce this power because this lens doing this person, this lens doing this person of the rays light rays. So the, the power of this lens can be decreased when we apply the opposite lens. Now image can exactly form on retina. These are two refractive errors. Let's see another thing here. I I work like a camera. So what's the meaning of this? I work like a camera. A similar camera have the lens and the eye. I the lens system is similar to uh, the camera using the lens system is similar to the eye. Eye is working like a camera. The the light rays the interference medium now is a media is changing. The first eye enter to the end from the air enter to cornea then from cornea posterior surface of cornea we have an ecosimer then light ray enter from cornea to ecosimer then from ecosimer now light ray going to lens then from lens just behind lens we having vitrosimer from the lens the light ray is going to vitrosimer so the each of this this media having separate in separate density so that's why they reflect the index is also different the air have the ideal refractive index is a one and the cornea having cornea the tissue here the refractive index is a 1.3 and the ecosumer having refractive index here 1.33 and the vitreous humor a bit higher refractive index of 1.3 it is about that it's a why this refractive index is difference because of their density the one media is the high density media and another media low density media now the lens you can see here what's the importance of the cornea and the lens here so cornea and lens are more, uh, the main main refraction you can see here big difference here 3.3 3, 3 4 and 3 8 and 4 the, the lens the lens have every refractive index every refractive index 1.40 1.40 so the, these two structure for we have four basic thing for 
refraction of light. One is cornea, the second one is echos humor, third one lens, and fourth one vitreous humor. So that these two structures, cornea and lens, are important for important having, having too much importance for refraction of light. If any disease, like any disease, affect the cornea, if the cornea is a cornea curvature like this, and the lens curvature like this, if any disease affecting the lens any disease affecting the cornea if the curvature of the cornea change curvature of refractive part change if the curvature of the lens change refractive part change and another thing about these two these two structures another thing is the cornea and the lens they are the transparent structure if that disease uh, uh, first, first we focus on the why eye is working like a camera let, let I, explain, I will explain and what happened to cornea and the lens why light is not able to pass and going to the retina okay the eye here the working like a camera because the, all these structure if we consider like a one lens the our full uh, full the power of the with this lens system i if work like a one lens one lens system, the all four structure, the refractive part is a 59 diopter. Refractive part is a 59, 59 diopter for all eye structure. So the refractive error, just now I already uh, covered this refractive error previously, the emetropia, it means normal with emetropia. Myopia, the person here, the issue, the myopia, nearsightedness. The, this person just can focus on the near object and not able to focus on the far object because the light ray, the image is formed very early here, you can see here. If you want to correct it, you can put opposite because here diopter, the power, the, the refraction power is too high. To just to make correction because diopter is very high, so just to reduce the power, put opposite lens. You can see here hypermyopia, hypermyopia, far sightedness. These guys, they, they, this type of person, they just can see your far object, but the blur, blur vision for the near, blur vision for near. The far object, the far sightedness is okay, but the near sightedness will have, 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 have some problem. Okay, the hypermyopia is due to because refractive index power. Here the diopter is decreased, the power is overall power is decreased, the refractive power of the lens is decreased. So what happened? We can correct it, we can add another NF convex lens. Already one convex lens here, you add another convex lens, we can correct that. Here you can see the image is formed just behind the retina. Here image form before retina. To correct this disorder, we can add another convex lens. Okay, now move on astigmatism. Astigmatism we can use uneven or oh, it's a cylindrical lens. It's a cylindrical lens. So let me already explain cylindrical lens is a mixture of concave plus convex. Concave plus convex lens. So we can use uh, for astigmatism. Astigmatism some some light rays. Some light rays you can see here focus before retina and some light rays are focused on retina. And some light rays also sometimes focus behind retina. So just to make, just to correct it, we can use both lens together for astigmatism case. Okay, what's the visual field? After finishing this topic, refractive error and the refraction, next we move on visual visual field. What's the meaning of the visual field? Here we having the two eyeball here. We having two eyeball, right eyeball and left eyeball. Okay, this side, if we close our, okay, no need to see this thing, if we close our one eye, so this full field is the, is a full vision field, is covered by, it's a full visual field, it's a full visual field. This visual field, you can see, this visual field is present toward the temporal side, a temporal bone here. And this visual field is a nasal visual field, is a temporal temporal visual field is this concept to when you when we talk about the neural pathway for the vision this concept is very important to understand which fiber taking which field and this the field just how much your one eye can can, can see the lateral side this is a little side of the object of the body this is a medial side so some object just in front of you some object present on the side for example you can see example is the glass glass present on the side 
uh, and then and the cup here this cup present on so toward the nose side in center here we having the nose here in the center of the both eyes we having here nose the cup is more close from the nose this mean our oh, cup present in the nasal sphere and the glass present an opposite thing the eyeball here temporal bone at the side of the side and temporal bone and this field is temporal visual field and this field is a nasal visual field and this field again here for the for the right left eye for uh, this for left eye for right eye you can see in the right eye and the left eye so uh, this visual field according to this visual field division so our retina also we divide the retina retina division the temporal retina and the retina towards the temporal side temporal retina retina towards the nasal side of the nasal retina retina also have two division because we having two field one eyeball having two different field the uh, temporal field temporal visual field and nasal visual field so one eye the each eye the retina we also divide to do this simple retina here the one eyeball cup shaped retina so cup shaped retina this is a full eyeball here so this retina this eyeball here we having nose here the second cup here the second eyeball cup here is a retina second retina here in center we having here nose in center we having here nose so this half one half this one and one half this one this half present toward the temporal side this half present toward the nasal side so th this retina known as temporal retina and this retina known as nasal retina first make clear to uh, before we understand the neural pathway for the vision must focus on these two two, two concepts what's the visual field what's the retina what retina division we having two parts of the visual field one the little side the middle side here the nasal visual field the object present in just exactly in front of you and like like a uh, straight line straight line from your nose very close to the straight line close from midline and the object present a bit on side of your off side on side that's known as temporal field temporal visual field nasal visual field so in reference to in reference to this visual field division we also have retina the two category of retina so i will go to the video and the remaining when i will talk about the neural pathway and other things about the vision in the next video